Are there different ways to do meetings? In this course, we propose to you six meeting facilitation formats, from stand-up to team coaching. Here are a few extracts from the course. A first extract on the staff meeting. Tip seven, co-construct an action plan. A meeting should always end with an action plan. Everyone should leave with at least one task to do for the team. These tasks are noted in the minutes. You can make a commitment chart. Draw three columns on craft paper, what, who, when. As the meeting progresses, write down on post-its and stick the actions to be done in the what column. Then at the end of the meeting, group the actions by theme. Write on another post-it the when, the date when the action should be carried out. And finally, set aside time for people to position themselves individually or in groups on who will be in charge of the action. Make sure that all the tasks have a person in charge. That's it, your action plan is done. Take a photo of it and attach it to your meeting minutes. If you work remotely, you can also use the Post-it Online application or other similar applications. So, we've seen seven facilitation steps to make your staff meetings more dynamic the forecast of the day, the transmission of information, make a round table about activities, synthesize the questions, focus on a participant, dig into a theme and carry out an action plan. A second extract on micro meetings and stand up meetings. Each member of the team takes turns speaking and explains what they have done since the last stand up, what they're going to do between now and the next one the difficulties they encountered. The use of a visual aid is a plus. The team stands up around the board, a table with at least three columns, to do, doing in progress and done. In each column, each collaborator positions their post-it corresponding to the tasks to be done, in progress and done. They answer the three questions and update their post-it notes. You can also add a next column to place medium or long-term tasks and a waiting column on what is put on hold. A third extract on the reflection and decision-making meeting. Three, the exploration phase. You have chosen a few ideas together. It's time to explore them, to see how to put them into practice and analyse their feasibility. You can divide the ideas to be explored into subgroups pairs or groups of three. Each subgroup will then work on one of the selected ideas to turn them into a concrete scenario to make the idea a realistic project. You can give the subgroups a few questions that will enrich their thinking about the scenarios that they will work on. Questions such as, what can be done to make this idea feasible? What are the advantages of pursuing this idea? What are the risks? How long will it take to implement it? What resources are needed? Time, money, skills? What do you recommend to minimize the risks and maximize success? In your opinion, what other alternative would be better than this idea? Want to know more? We are happy to accompany you on the course, meeting formats. See you soon.